CNC 318 Pro Upgrades Stepper Motor Covers In today's video we're going to cover the design and thought process that went into manufacturing the stepper motor covers. I am going to be giving away a set of XYZ stepper motor covers. More details of that will be at the end of the video. Also at the end of the video there's a sneak peek at future projects. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, it's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, I want to make a cover that protects this area here, especially the wires, and I kind of want something for the wires to go into. So if we take a look, there's a metal piece here, so that'll protect this part, but it won't really do anything for the, for the plug-in. And it doesn't do anything for the wires, because what happens in most cases is the wires get caught on something, right? So, or one wire gets caught. That's not a good scenario, no matter how you kind of slice it. You want something that's a little bit sturdy. What we have here is our basic outline of our stepper motor. And here's where we're going to put our mounting screws. This is the plate where our plug goes into. Building the walls up to secure the plug. Do an extruded round cut. Now in this case, I can change the diameter here to accommodate different numbers of wires. So in this case, we really only have four going out. So a quarter inch ID is going to work just fine. I'm going to put a little cut in there so we can feed our wires in. It's starting to take shape now. Do another extruded cut and a bunch of fillets. So now we're going to add our fillets around. We're going to add our fillets inside. Now I added a little boss here, that's for 3D printing, to support this area here. I could have done it in the software, but then I'll just add it in here. So now we have our one hole here. We're going to add a couple more holes. And this guy is basically done right now. So now I want to save this as an STL and export it. So we have that guy saved as an STL. We import it into our slicer. In this case we're using the Flash Forge Pro. We need to turn this guy around because this isn't a very good print or build surface right now. So we turn this guy 90 degrees. Set this in the center of our table because we're above the table right now. Can't print in midair. Oops on platform in the center and that's basically it we're going to tell it which because it's a dual headed machine so we're going to tell it left head and that's almost it now if we look from the bottom it should be blue the blue surface means it's sitting on the table you don't want to print something above the table you go print standard everything Boom. So here it's going to show you the layers that it's going to print by. So if we go here, we'll go from the bottom up, we'll go real quick. We'll go from the bottom up, one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, seven layer. As we keep building, all the way till completion. Today's video is on stepper motor covers. So basically you take your wire, you plug it into your stepper motor, and these wires are exposed now. Uh, when you move your machine around, what happens is they can get bumped and hit, or something can fall on them, etc. So we want to make a cover that covers this guy up. So what I've come up with is basically this guy here. It goes over top and it covers it. So this is a support because this is round and it's above the Z level. So we just snap that guy off, hit it with a file. So we have one that looks just like this. Okay, so basically what we do is we take a four millimeter nut, put it in here, a four by 10 millimeter bolt, put it in there. It can be 12 mil as well, depending on how big you want it to be. Then we're gonna turn around and we're just gonna feed the wires 
into here. Okay, so we put those wires into the slot. Then you slide this down. That goes over top. Give this guy a bit of a tighten. Boom, nothing will damage this section here. It's on nice and tight. You can tighten it up a bit more. Uh, because this is PLA, only tighten it up as much as you have to. Don't over tighten it. Okay. So then we turn around and we take this, we take this split loom here and put it over top. Then you just push the wire inside. It takes a second to do, or a couple of seconds. You get the gift of it. Slide it over top of here. Turn it towards the back there. Take a zip tie. Clip this guy off. And you can run a couple zip ties down the length, but you really don't need to. Um, but it's nice and pretty now. It's on there. Your wire's protected. It's much nicer looking. Than just the basic. Oops. Slide that out. Just the basic part with the wires hanging off. Okay, some of the other things that I'm working on. Uh, let's take a look at the back here. Uh, plug the machine. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice wire channel here. I was quite surprised how this works and laid out really, really nicely. It's still a bit of a mess back here, but that'll all be cleaned up. My Z micro switches are on the outside not on the inside so i'm not going to lose any travel at all uh, the guys that put the five or six mil button stops in here that means they're losing 20 30 percent of the travel i didn't want to do that uh, obviously you've seen the shroud here uh, on the outside here and here as well we have our micro switches on the outside we have pins they go through and actually stop them. Um, let's turn our control board on here. You've seen the Gerbil mounting unit. I never understood why we would want to put that just so it's laying around on the ground. Uh, that always bothered me. So it's just easier to touch the controls when it's up here. So even with this control head here, there's still lots of clearance. All our wires fit nicely. Our track moves back and forth nicely. Oh yeah, something I forgot to talk to you about. Um, we have a probe, but it's not quite on the machine yet here. And we have the famous light. Uh, anyone who says they don't need extra light, they don't need it until they have it. And it is awesome. The giveaway. It's quite simple. All you have to do is publicly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ray's Fix. Then send me a comment and I will reply with your entry number. Your entry number will remain valid for all of my other draws and I will email you back a number and that'll be your number for all of the giveaways. I make quite a few things 
and I usually make extra of them, so it's really no hardship for me to give them away. Uh, the contest is open to anybody within a $20 shipping range. So basically, I'm only going to pay for $20 shipping. So that's the cap on the distance that I'll ship to. What you could win is three 3D printed stepper motor guards and three 4 mil nuts and bolt sets, six wire ties, and two feet of wire snap or split loom wire protector. I will make the draw April 1st. 2021. I will use a random number generator to make the draw. This is my first time doing a draw or giveaway and hopefully everything goes smoothly. If you have any questions about the video or about the draw, please leave them in the comments section below. That way anyone else with the same question will get the answer at the same time. I will also make a short video of doing the draw with a number with a random number generator. Thanks for watching the video and have a great night.